be back into the interior. It's going to lead us back towards Mount Waiale Ale. So the island obviously does get a lot of rain. Although it is amazing how uh, different the weather and climate can be across relatively short distances in the Hawaiian Islands. Up on top in the center, 450 inches of rain a year. Head to the southwest corner of the island, the driest part, you get fewer than 20 inches of rain a year. Up ahead at your one o'clock, rising up into the clouds, that's Mount Waialeale. And up on top, it sits just shy of a mile high at 5,243 feet above sea level. All the water that collects up on top radiates out, feeding many of the island's river streams and waterfalls. And as the water works its way out towards the ocean, it continues the erosional process. That's carved up the flanks of this extinct volcano. Giving us the magnificent Kauai landscape we're enjoying today. Now at this point, we're just around the corner from the Waiale Ale Crater. One of the final eruptions here, about half a million years ago, blew open the east face of the volcano, and the crater was formed. All the rain that's fallen since that eruption has been wearing away at the rock inside the crater. Eroding, scouring, and smoothing producing nearly vertical 3,000 foot crater walls that wrap around in about a 270 degree arc. We're gonna fly into that crater for a look at the hollowed out heart of the extinct volcano that formed the island of Kauai.
so that was the crater. The heart of the volcano, essentially the birthplace of Kauai. Lava used to erupt from the crater. Those flows piling up and building the island layer by layer. But no eruptions in half a million years. Over time, lava has been replaced by waterfalls. And what was completely barren and lifeless lava rock has transformed into paradise. We begin to emerge from the crater now, looking eastbound. The east side of the island is the center of mass of Kauai when it comes to its resident population. Three main communities on the east side. Off at our 10 o'clock is Kapa'a. At our 11 o'clock, Wailua. And up at our 12 to 1 o'clock, Lahui. And there's only about 72,000 Kauai Island residents. The state of Hawaii has a population of about 1.5 million. Eight islands make up the state, two-thirds of the population is found on Oahu. That's the big city part of the state of Hawaii. Oahu, where you find Honolulu and Waikiki, and more than a million residents. Over there, the city here on Kauai, definitely the country with a mere 72,000. The magic of the garden. I gotta start dealing with air traffic control. I'm gonna take myself off the intercoms for a minute or two. You guys feel free to talk to each other if you like, and I'll rejoin you shortly. I left my home looking for a brand new star to find a place that's better still. Now I know, I know I never will. Okay, the tower just gave us a clearance to re-enter the Lahui airspace. Now because of the busy radios and the airport environment, from here on in, passenger mics will be deactivated. As we start to make our way back towards the airport, a few admin things to mention to you all on behalf of Blue Hawaiian. First, a reminder that we make a video of the entire flight. And if you'd like a copy of your tour as a keepsake, that is an option for you. Also want to remind you that we would love to see you all again. If you're island hopping or considering future Hawaiian vacations, please keep us in mind. You'll find Blue Hawaiian bases here, Oahu, Maui, and the Big Island. Now once we get back to the heliport and land, please do not open 